Hi, this is Jeremy with uh, your Big Boy Toys Tip of the Week. In this week's tip, we're going to go over how to solder uh, EC3 connectors. Uh, they can be a little bit trickier than connectors like Traxxas connectors. Uh, so this is how you do it. The first step is you're going to want to uh, strip a little bit of uh, the rubber away from the wire. All you want is a little bit of wire showing. Um, it helps sometimes to dip the wire into a little bit of flux. It will allow the solder to flow uh, freely into the wire a little bit easier. Next step is to clean your soldering iron off on a wet sponge so that the tip is shiny. I like to add a little bit of solder to the tip and this is just to help with uh, heat transfer. Next you'll put the tip of your soldering iron underneath your wire and let it begin to heat up. After your wire gets hot, you're going to want to hold the solder from on top until the solder melts into the wire. Once the solder permeates the wire uh, through and through and it's melted completely in, next you're going to want to clean your tip off again and you want to start with your connector. Now the tricky part of the EC3 is holding the connector um, in some device uh, while heating it up to solder it. Uh, one of my friends Astro taught me to drill a 5/32 inch hole into any block of wood you can drop the little EC3 connector uh, into it and it'll hold it for you while you solder. Uh, if you're using EC5s, which are the bigger version, then a 7 32 inch hole will work. So next, what I'm going to want to do is hold my iron onto the outside of the connector. Give it a second for the connector to get uh, quite hot. Then I want to hold my solder inside the connector uh, near where the iron is touching. And you want to do this until the connector fills, starts to melt the solder from the inside and fills it up about halfway with solder. So we'll keep doing this. Got it about halfway filled with solder. Next I want to take my wire that I've already pre-tinned and I want to submerge it into there and hold it until you can see the solder between the wire and the uh, connector completely flow together. Uh, you want it to, you'll see it actually flow together and become one. Once it does, you can take it out and your connector is on it. You'll take your uh, plastic housing and for the black wire, we'll put it from the back uh, into the negative side, hold it on a bench and with a small screwdriver, and be careful not to stab yourself, you just want to push it until it snaps in place. And this has been your Big Boy Toys Tip of the Week.